Now a lot of people are, well, I'll show you something. So, if you look at the first blog of my website that I've um, made archaic, I no longer use my site because I know it's not going to be a platform that I'll check regularly because it's um, better to use a large open site where you can meet people than um, do it instead of having other platforms where you bring them to your original site. But the first blog in my old site, uh, asomsheet.webs.com, said, Corporatism does not equate to capitalism. <coughs> I love how I use the term does not. It's, it just shows how weak that writing really was. It's a statement a lot of anti statists and ANCAPs commonly use that. Uh, capitalism from the problem, it's corporatism, that's where the consolidation comes from. Now while that statement happens to be true, it's going to be hard to convince someone with that statement because it's a very interconnected term, corporatism. Corporatism has existed for feudalism, mercantilism, uh, slave states, and uh, it's probably going to exist when capitalism's dead and gone and replaced with another, more superior, free market ideology. Let's be freaking honest here. Let's be fucking honest. It's old. It's ancient. It's a very... Um, I wouldn't call it new term, because it's only existed for 6,000 years, but it's been used we're too fucking wrong. Way before capitalism was formed. And it's because of corporatism that I'm convinced that um, <coughs> <coughs> I'm convinced that um, we need a better argument for the situation. And that's why I say that Market capitalism is the problem. State capitalism is the problem. Or better yet, economical capitalism isn't the problem. State capitalism is the problem. And what do I mean by economic capitalism? I mean capitalism applied in an economic or sociological sense. Something that's just people regularly interacting in society. Whereas state capitalism involves capitalism being applied in the sense that an institution that has sovereignty over government um, and creates citizens, which is, would ordinarily just be re regular people of the population makes them into citizens and residents and visitors and then um, has sovereignty over them. And this is being applied in a very capitalist-esque structure. Now how could state anything work out unless it's in a very minarchist sense? Even then, um, that's pretty hard to find. That's why I don't kiss um, these US politicians asses any of them because minarchism is yet to form under strong suit however I'm going in a tangent here um, if you look at it in a very structural stance uh, you'll see that it'd be better to make the claim that's State capitalism is, happens to be a problem, and that economic capitalism is okay, because then you have to ask the person making this claim, how will it apply to you? Like, make him question himself, like, a, how will your state syndicalism, uh, state uh, collectivism, or state um, whatever be better? And um, bring up the economics too. 
bring up the economic counterpart to them. Let's see, um, their claim be backed up. Because the thing is that if anyone tries to uh, critique uh, capitalism or cynicalism or collectivism for an irrational sense, uh, then you can question them, try to question their views, help them explain themselves, and then you can defend yourself and your view. That's what I see would work. But that's about it.